Hello everyone, my name is Tade, and I'd love to show you what my iDoc extension can do. Basically, it's an extension that allows you to edit hypertext documents. Let's begin with the situation here. I'd like to um, create a document about the iPad, Apple's new product. I start off by creating a new document from the iDoc extension. I'm going to name it iPad slash index. With that slash, I'm assuming that it's going to be inside the iPad folder. We'll see what it does later. First, um, let's create the name of the document iPad reviews and technical aspects something like that. Let's begin with a review which is going to be a heading. You see there are loads of editing components and maybe I'll go there and paste that out. Good. Now we have the official uh, technical specification, yet another title, and I'm going to paste that what's on the, the Apple website, paste that yes here and then I'm going to have a heading that says Wikipedia technical I can't type, I swear. Nicole Aspects. And I'm going to paste that what's on the side here. There. Nice. Let's imagine that I haven't finished um, the document. Then I can save a draft by clicking on the drive icon. Now, what does that do? Actually, it stores it on your computer. You don't need to be online to view it. On the options page here, you see? In the folder iPad, there is iPad slash index, the name that I've typed a couple of minutes ago. And there it is. All my edits, everything. And in order to go on editing this uh, document, I can just click and there I am. Now let's imagine I have finished editing the document. I can send it to a friend by clicking on the send by email button. And no surprise. The images are not copied across though. Something you have to keep in mind. Great, um, what's left is save it directly on your computer as an HTML file by hitting Control S or Command S for Mac users and it's saved and I can even replace it if it has already been saved before. So that's the basics. Now, of course, things you can imagine from that extension. I am currently viewing a page and I'd like to save it so that I can view it when I'm no longer online. All I have to do is save a draft of it. And then when I later want to see it, hope, reload the option page. I have a new stuffandfry.com stuff. And there is the page that I have saved.
of course I don't want it so I'm going to close it um, another thing you can imagine is for instance I am on a web page and here for instance I don't know if it's a zero or the letter O all I have to do is edit the document I'm going to type the letter big O and then a zero and obviously here it's the number zero so that's what I've learned from this extension there are loads of possibilities with this extension and I hope that you're going to try it thanks for having listened and please give it a try